Again, I filmed this a number of years ago and pulled it out of the hard drive for you all to see. But it's barely a month since I was last here. But boy, what a difference a month makes. Hardly a month ago, I did a video here, exact same spot, and the wind was howling, there was snow laying in the back of the ditches, and it was freezing. While this morning, although I wouldn't want to strip off and sunbathe, it's a lot milder, a lot warmer, the birds are singing away in the background, it's a much more pleasant day to be out. So even though I took three hooded crows off this ground the last time I was here, the farmers still seeing some about the lambing fields. So I decided to come back again and have another go. I set up in the same place in the same way and hopefully I'll have the same result. I'm using the same hide, the bush, chair hide from bushware.com and as you can see I like draping a camouflage net over the top of it. I just find it helps take that flat man-made look off of the hide and helps it blend into the surroundings. Oh, if you're interested, the bag that I was using back then was a French army rucksack that I got from an army surplus store. I still have it and it done a good enough job at the time but I've since upgraded to a Northern Ireland patrol pack or day pack. Looking back at the edited footage from the first film, I think I'm setting up in the exact same spot as I did the first time almost a month ago. Again, I'm using a dead hooded crow set up in a wire cradle as a decoy and I think it could well have been one of the crows I shot here a month ago and of course a dead rabbit split open as bait I've just noticed back then my bald spot hadn't quite appeared yet ah the days when I had plenty of hair Again, I'm using my Ruger 1022 Custom. It came from brimfiremagic.com and it had a green mountain barrel and a tuned trigger group in it, all mounted into a overmolded hog stock. The scope was an old Dabin 2 to 10 by 50 DMP, I think it was. And I'm using Winchester subsonic hollow points. It looks like we have a distant observer, but as of yet, no opportunities on the ground. But just as it starts to drizzle, a bird comes in to land. Hopefully we won't have the same problems with misfires as we did the last time. The bird's well struck 
but just flies off camera round the corner of the bank. So I decided to head out with the rifle and make sure it was dead. I needn't have worried. The shot did strike a little low for some reason, but the bird was lying dead where I found it. Another bird's taken an interest, but he's decided to land in the trees to my left hand side. He's within range, but with no backstop and me using a rimfire, I'm not going to take that shot. Oh, down he comes. Look alive now. Be a nice bird now and sit still for the camera. Right between the shoulder blades and he's going nowhere. It's been fairly quiet and I haven't heard any other birds in the area, so decided to set up the bird I just shot as a decoy. Oh don't run on camera with those big feet hey, it's not Baywatch you know. The wind's starting to pick up, but it shouldn't be an issue, just as a third bird drops in. I like to keep the scope caps shut, as I find it helps stop the rear lens from fogging up with my breath at times. Oh, he didn't like that. I think he's sussed out that it's a dead bird. But it's too late. I've got the shot away and he's down. I thought to myself, well, Two decoys seem to work quite well, why not three? But unfortunately the weather then broke, just after me praising how nice a morning it was too. So when I got a break in the rain, I decided to pack up and call it quits. Well, I've got three wet crows for my efforts, and thankfully the day was a little less eventful from the last time, with no misfires, but the farmers should be happier and the lambs should be a wee bit safer. <laughs>